everyone, I'm Dalita Vanessian, and today I will explain what is binary. So binary is a numbering scheme in which there are only two possible values for each digit, 0 and 1. But at first, let's look at decimal numbers that have a base of 10. So our decimal numbers have digits from 0 to 9. And if I want to get the number 10, I should add 1 to 9. But there are no more numbers to write, so I will get the first digit 0, and I will pass the 1 to the left position. This also works for a binary system. Our binary system has digits 0 and 1. So if I want to get the number 2, I should add 1 to 1. But there are no more numbers to write, so I will get the first digit 0, and I will pass 1 to the left position. This means that the number 10 in a binary system represents the number 2. Let's continue this for the number 3 and 4 to better understand it. So if I want to get the number 3, I should add 1 to the number 2. I get 11, and 11 represents the number 3. The same is for 4. I should add 1 to the number 3. And there are no more numbers to write, so I will get the first digit 0. And I will pass the 1 to the left position. I will still get 0. And I will pass 1 to the left position. I got 100 and it represents the number 4 in a binary system. Now let's see how binary numbers transform to decimal numbers. But at first let's analyze a decimal number with a base of 10. Let's say for example 200, 2347 and analyze it. We get 2 times 10 power of 3, which is 2000. Why 10 power of 3? Because this is the unit position, this is 10th position, this is 100 position, and this is 1000 position, which is 10 power of 3. Let's continue. 3 times 10 power of 2, I get 300. 4 times 10 power of 1, I get 40. 7 times 10 power of 0, I get 7. So adding all these numbers together, I get 2347. With the same approach, let's analyze a binary number. We get 1 times 2 power of 4, which is 16. So, instead of writing 10, I'm writing 2, because the binary system has the base of 2. The next one is 0 times 2 power of 3, which is 0. So the next one, we also get 0. 1 times 2 power of 1. We get 2, and the last one is 0. So adding all these numbers together, we get 18. And it means that our binary number represents the number 18. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed my video. Thanks very much for watching.